I was looking at an old picture of myself from high school and I thought, hmm, I wasn't fat here and my skin wasn't bad here either. I'll tell you why this is really profound for me. I have this false memory implanted in my brain that I was overweight most of my life and didn't lose weight until my early 20s and then again after gaining a lot of weight in my late 20s. Truthfully, my weight has fluctuated my entire life, but I definitely wasn't fat my entire life. Similarly, I have this false narrative planted in my brain that I've always had really bad skin and that I didn't gain clear skin until now in my early 30s. I found myself staring at this picture from high school going, oh my gosh, what a pretty girl. I, I was in all black, which is still an aesthetic that I enjoy. My skin was fine and my weight was fine. The problem is I can't ever remember feeling good about myself before the age of 20 and then never again until the age of 29. I was struggling with unchecked depression and anxiety. I was hypercritical of myself based on opportunities I felt I wasn't getting based on boys that didn't love me properly or not at all and messages that I was getting from TV and bouncing back and forth between schools in predominantly black neighborhoods and schools in predominantly white neighborhoods. When I look back now, I can see how I was more so struggling with identity issues and depression based on the mixed ideas I was getting from society. When I went to school in the black neighborhoods, I was very normal, very average. Everyone looked like I did. When I went to school in the suburbs, where my class was predominantly white in the age of extreme thinness and Europeanness as a standard of beauty, I felt very isolated. I couldn't share clothes with my friends and I really couldn't relate to them even on a class level and perspective. I always saw myself as very fat in those areas and very out of place very isolated and when I look back and just really think of it I tacked on weight issues and skin issues where I really was just having a hard time fitting in because I was who I was as I work through my healing process and the layers continue to come off, one thing I know I need to do is change how I perceive myself in the past. I've always thought of myself as this fat kid with bad skin who bloomed later in life when truthfully the bloom was internal, not external. I actually look really similar right now as I did in that picture. The only difference is as a 33 year old woman, I feel beautiful, sexy, and in so charge. I'm gonna go back in time and show myself a little bit of love. Tell her that maybe she just needs to own her beauty a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go back through all the memories that I can find in myself where I was rejected and remind myself that it is completely up to the discretion of whoever rejected me to do so. I don't need to know why and it doesn't have to leave a stain on my life so what false narratives are you implanting in your brain what are you still holding on to and believing that may not even be true that when you really look back in time you can look at the whole picture and say you know what this didn't have to be a source of trauma for me we hold on to traumas that are sometimes just false narratives and then we react in the now based on ways we weren't even actually traumatized truthfully nobody ever picked on me for being fat i had maybe two boyfriends in my adult life that told me that i'd be prettier if i lost weight and that rejected me because of my weight I projected that onto other situations and maybe yeah maybe some of those rejections did have to do with my weight but I don't know I'll never know and I don't need to know everything that is for me is for me but I would like to know what's for you and what's not for you so please leave a comment below and just tell me about a false narrative that you're ready to get rid of sometimes all we have to do is go back and do the work go back and love on ourselves and grow ourselves up with a new narrative one that's a little bit more empowering that helps us to move forward in our day-to-day -day now there's nothing like owning yourself and having confidence in your body and your skin and even your past so let's go ahead and do the work guys and I will We'll see you again soon, friends. Thank you.